In this video, we're going to find out why people are driving 30 kilometers from Dalat to visit a cafe. What makes Meilin coffee so special? How do you get here? What's with all the weasels? Find out this and more on today's episode. So today we're checking out the Min Li Coffee Garden and right now I'm downstairs where they keep the weasels because the kind of coffee that they make here is weasel coffee. So the way it works is the weasels are fed coffee cherries and they're very particular about which ones they eat so they only pick the ripest ones and then they poop out the bean and you get a coffee that is supposed to be less bitter and a little more sweet. You can see right here behind me they're drying out these coffee beans and you can tell that they're weasel coffee because the coffee beans clump together uh, because they were pooped out. So normal coffee beans when they dry they will not stick together like this. views here are absolutely stunning. Definitely worth a visit if you just want to see beautiful valleys, rivers, mountains. This place is gorgeous. So enough with the hype. We're going to try some coffee right now. Let's see if this weasel coffee is for real. I'm waiting for my 90,000 dong weasel coffee to finish brewing. I can't wait to try it. I've heard great things about the weasel's digestive system removing the bitterness from the robusta bean and making a sweet coffee. So I can't wait to taste this and let you guys know uh, whether or not this 90,000 dong coffee is worth it because it is maklam, my friends. Coffee is done brewing. This is the moment of truth. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I like being positive. I wanted this vlog to focus on the best aspects of everywhere we go, but there also has to be some honesty with you. I don't want you guys to come here expecting something and it to be different. And to tell you the truth, that coffee was bitter as heck. That was, that was so bitter. So my suggestion is if you're not going to mix the coffee with condensed milk or sugar, then you might want to head to another place that has Arabica coffee because the coffee here is just as bitter as the Robusta I've had all throughout Vietnam. And there's this level there called Rainbow Road and I feel like I'm in that game right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I think I gave you a pretty balanced view of my opinion on this place. It's about a 30 kilometer drive. You can rent a motorbike from Saigon to get here. The drive here is really, really beautiful. So don't skip out on that. Just come here, put a little condensed milk in that coffee and I think you should be okay. Please subscribe and like and share this channel. Hit that notification bell. Check out saunderhills.com and I'll see you guys in the next video.